Welcome back to Sports Night. My name is Austin Bryan alongside Matt Root, and we're here to ask a couple questions about what's going on in the sports world right now. So, Matt, uh, I have my first question for you is going to be about Alabama. And I want to know, who's the only team that can take down Alabama? The only team that can beat Alabama? Well, uh, that's Alabama. <sighs> I mean, they're unstoppable. You can't beat them. They can only get in their own way. Uh, Tua Tagaloa. Tua Tagaloyavoya, their quarterback, who's thrown uh, 25 touchdowns and uh, zero interceptions. The guy's insane, but he's been playing on a bum knee all year. So uh, they still have Jalen Hurts, but obviously he got benched last year because he couldn't get it done. So if uh, Tua injures his knee, donezo, finished. They can't, they're not going to be able to win the national championship. And they have a loaded schedule. I mean, they're playing LSU. These guys are insane. They're playing Auburn. That game's always wild. Not as good as Michigan-Ohio State, but like a pretty good game. And they're playing Mississippi State. So, like, I think they can win. They'll win all their games if Tua stays healthy. But if he gets hurt, they're in a lot of trouble. They're the only. They're going to get in their way. The only I, ones who can. I, I don't know if I can disagree. Alabama is quite the powerhouse. They always have been. Um, it's pretty much every coach probably walks out of there throwing his hat, just yelling, Tua Tugalo me. <laughs> you know, I just, what can you do about it? Um, but uh, another question, uh, moving on to more of a, a kingdomhood, more of a, a legacy of some. Are the Lakers going to make the playoffs? Ooh, that's a, that's a good question. So, like, we're looking right now. It's been a mess. They're 2-5 and five on the season. Uh, things haven't been going well. They've been allowing, like, over 100 points a game. And, like, yeah, the Western Conference is really good. And they've been playing some really good teams, except for, like, the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> but, uh, look, you last year, the team from last year, they've added so much talent. All they lost, r really, was, like, Julius Randle, who's a pretty good player. Like, I'm not going to lie. But, like, last year, they are 12 games out from the playoffs. You're telling me you dropped Julius Randle, but you replace him with LeBron James, and you can't win 12 games? I think the Lakers will be fine. They'll get it figured out. Uh, LeBron seemed pretty pissed after their last loss, so like they'll start playing better defense. And like not only did they pick up LeBron, they picked up some quality basketball players like Rajon Rondo, JaVale McGee, and uh, uh, Lance Stevenson. It's like, okay. I shouldn't say quality, but uh, they're entertaining. I think they'll be fine as long as they let Lonzo play point guard and don't let uh, Rondo play so much. They should be fine. They'll make the playoffs. Probably like a six seed. All right. I uh, I have no faith in them. I, the only person I care about in the Lakers is Ingram because I think he's KD. If KD was 30 pounds smaller. All right. That's fair. That's fair. So I, th I think he's a player to watch. But uh, no, Lakers are fun. I, I'm not going to lie. I do actually watch a lot of their games. They're so fun to watch this season. It's going to be an interesting season. Before we move into our final question, um, happy Halloween if we didn't already say it. But uh, I decided to go as Tim Tebow today. If you guys didn't get that reference, now we're making it. <laughs> I believe we have, is it Thomas? Yeah, the, the original Isaiah Thomas, the one that they actually brought the Brinks trucks out for. Exactly, so. exactly. But, so, for our last question here tonight on this Halloween edition, uh, who do you think in college is going to be our best basketball team coming up? So that's right, Austin. we got the college basketball season coming up here pretty soon. Michigan, I think, has their actual tip-off on Tuesday against Norfolk State, I believe. So that will be really fun to watch them play. But who has the realistic shot to win the national championship this year? I got to go with the blue, the, du blue duh, the Duke Blue Devils. I mean, I hate to say it. I hate watching them win. But Mike Krzyzewski, Mike Krzyzewski is a great coach. He has his best recruiting class ever. I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this guy, Zion Williamson. He's insane. All he does is dunk. And he's so good at it. He's 6'7", 275. He could literally be like an offensive tackle on the football team here. But instead, he's dunking from the free throw line in basketball games. He makes like grown men look like little children. But uh, let's not forget, he's not even the best person on his team. They got Cam Reddish, who was rated even higher in the class of 2018, and R.J. Barrett. I mean, these guys are insane. They're loaded. They're, I mean, I'm not going to say it's a cakewalk, cakewalk because there's some really good teams this year. Like uh, University of Nevada is really coming out of nowhere. So like, they'll probably make the Final Four. It'll be a lot of fun to watch them. But I mean, you, you can't say no to Duke. You can't. Uh, I mean. I guess it's only classic that the Blue Devils take the pick on Halloween. Is that a punny enough joke for Halloween? Anyway, we hope to see you guys back next week, and we hope you have a great Halloween weekend. Have a great Halloween, and have a great sports night.